Hey there. Again, what a coincidence again. Uh, this this happens way too often. Good day. How are you doing? Today I will show you how to play Auditor Viceroy by Mank DeMarco. First of all, I want to give a huge thank you to Annie for her very generous and kind donation. She had a she wrote a really nice message with it. Thank you so much. I'm glad you appreciate my lessons and thank you so much for your support. She also has an Instagram named Embroid Redbird. I'm sorry if I pronounced that wrong, but uh, you should go. You guys should all follow her on Instagram. She has some lovely pictures, and it also helps me uh, to say thank you to her in another way if you follow her. So please do that. Tell your friends. Tell your mom. Tell your dad. Tell your family. Tell your dog about her Instagram. That would be really kind if you did that. So thank you so much again. It was really kind, and your lovely message with it was really. Very well appreciated by me, thank you so much. Then this song was requested by these people. Thank you for your comments. I'm going to make two videos on the song. One video I'm going to, this one, I'm going to show you how to play the chords and the taps of the song. Uh, so from the first guitar and the second guitar. And in the other on the video I will show you how to play the solo since that one needs a little bit more explaining. So I thought it would be more organized if I made two videos on this song. So I hope you guys understand that. First of all in this video I'm going to play the full song with the chords so you can play along. And then afterwards I will show you the tabs of the second guitar, the, the stuff of... <laughs> that stuff. Thank you so much for watching so far. Please like and subscribe. Oh and this song was played on the second capo. If you want to play along with the live version you just have to use standard tuning. If you want to play along with the studio version you have to tune your guitar to 452 hertz, if I'm correct, yeah. But I'm just going to play that normal hertz. where the solo starts which I will show you in the next video I will show you the tabs and the chords so you don't have to worry about that now I will show you the, the tabs of the second guitar but first I want to explain something about what Mac DeMarco does and the rest of the band really did you, you see him grabbing his guitar here 
But the thing is, I will move in a little bit to make it easier to explain. Uh, you create this effect because you you really you you bend your guitar a bit and don't take that too seriously because uh, <laughs> you don't want to break your guitar. Some guitars can take that easier than others, but um, what he does really and and really don't try to push too hard because um, it's not that good for your guitar if you do it too hard and not really all guitars can handle it that well. But um, I'll show you what I mean. He he plays the chord. You hear that? You hear this this wavy effect. But you do that really by this arm pushes the the back to the back to 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 yourself really. So you so you 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 push that this way up. So this way up, and your your palm, your hand does the same thing. So you really try to bend your guitar but don't push too hard again because really you don't have to put in that much force you can just you hear you have this slight effect and you don't even have to use this arm you can also just use your to push you see I'm I'm using my arm to push the guitar in the back and you have to use this arm to keep it steady but there's lots of ways to do this you can also also use your hand you just have to wave your guitar a bit really so that's what I want to give us a tip but again <laughs> I can't stress this enough don't push too hard or anything like that really we're very gentle it only needs a very gentle push to get this effect so that's what I wanted to do so and also if you don't really get the same sound don't think you're pushing hard enough because that's probably not the case, you just have to really find the, the good spot. Yeah. And um, now I will show you the, the the taps of the second guitar. I will first play the verses. Uh, I will loop the chords of the verse and play the, the the correct riffs above it. And then I will do the same thing with the chorus. So yeah. That's the verse, now the chorus, taps. So as you can see, there are more ways to play this. Andy and Peter even play a little bit different. Um, Andy plays it here, and um, Peter plays it here. So you can choose by yourself, but I chose to play like Andy, just because. Uh, and also this part. You can play the last um, small chord really like this but you can also do it like that it's the same chord really yeah thank you so much for watching so far i will have the solo uh, part out soon maybe tomorrow or the day after or the same day that could be i don't know thanks again so much please like and subscribe check out uh, any her instagram i hope to see you next time